Hey YouTube, this is Alexander and I'm back with another tech video. In this tech video, I'm going to be taking a quick look at and showing you how to install the new Google Play Store and comparing it to the older Google Play Store. So let's get started. So in order to install this Google Play Store, you, all you're going to need to do is just visit that link down in the description. Uh, tap on the downloads as you see here. Then from there you should see the com.android.vending1dl.apk. Go ahead and click on that. And it will bring you to this screen uh, telling you it's going to replace the current application. Just go ahead and hit OK and then uh, hit Done or Open and you will have it installed. Once you've done that you'll see this new layout um, and we'll compare it a little bit to the older layout now. So. The layout has changed a lot. I believe uh, they're trying to get it to uh, more to show you things that you might be interested in through recommendations and things like that. Um, as you can see, though, I'm continuing to scroll down, and it and it just populates more things in the older Google Play Store. It would get to the end, and that would be it. So that's sort of nice uh, in a way. And if you don't like it, though, then it's not nice. Um, you can uh, now install apps straight from. Uh, this area without having to even go into the actual app if you wanted to. So uh, let's see if I wanted to install uh, the masters. These three little dots right here, um, you just go ahead and click those. You can either add to wish list or install. If I hit install, it'll just show me the permissions that it needs or wants. And then you hit accept. And you can see it right up here downloading. Um, so that's pretty cool. And no longer does it bring up the old. Uh, page where after you've downloaded or hit accept and install it'll ask you if you want to keep shopping um, and it'll bring up just this extra page it was really annoying and uh, I'm glad they they took that out so you now have your uh, card style layout which is supposed to sort of I believe unify it uh, more with Google now I think they're trying to get towards that card style look which is nice in my opinion so you know I applaud them for that uh, you can see compared to the old version, which the old version wasn't necessarily bad. I just uh, feel like the newer version was uh, more of an upgrade. Um, so if we go into an app, as we can, so if we go into an app, for example, like Facebook, we'll show you the uh, differences that you can see uh, in the new layout. This does, though, sort of remind me, I believe uh, it's like a gingerbread type look, which I'm not sure exactly how I feel about that because it, some people, like they're saying, it feels almost like a step back. Um, but in the same time, at the same time, it's not that bad. Um, I don't really mind it too much to actually like dislike the entire Play Store. It, I think it's a really good upgrade. Everything's pretty much the same. You still have your reviews, everything down here. The look of users also installed, also viewed, and more by this developer has changed from the uh, older Google Play Store, which is uh, kind of cool. You can see a little bit more, and in my opinion, it just looks a little nicer. Um, the previews and everything is still the same, and when you want to install, you can do that. And like I said, it doesn't bring you to that the Keep Shopping uh, page. So if we go ahead and go back, you can see we have all the stuff up here rather than as in the old Google Play Store. We had it all down here on the side. Um, and each section is color-coded, so you have a little orange for your music. You have red for movies and TV and so on and so forth. Purplish for the magazines and blue for the books. And uh, this three dots applies for everything that you see, which is pretty cool. If you're scrolling and you see something you might like, and you can also hit not interested. So if you really, if you're not interested in that, it'll be removed, and they'll have something else there uh, next time. If we go ahead and take a look at the settings, you can see some setting changes here. Now I think this is the older UI. Uh, this feels like it's a uh, the little the older UI because this is an older Android version, the Nexus 1, just in case you didn't know. Um, but anyway, you can choose from here how you want to uh, do the auto update. I don't think you can choose that from the app anymore like you used to be able to. You choose it from inside the settings here. And then you can also choose uh, the password for when you're going to buy something. You have to have a password or not. And uh, build version is 4.0.25, whereas the older version is 3.10.14. So hopefully that gave you a little bit of a a better insight as to how the Google Play Store looks now and how it works and feels and everything like that. Um, it is hitting devices now, so if you're running any device running Android uh, 2.3 or higher, as this guy is running, no root required. If you want to install it, just hit that link like I said before. Um, or you can wait, like I'm doing with my uh, Nexus 4, just because that's how I am. 
Uh, and then I will also sort of, if you're following me on Instagram or Twitter or Google+, Plus, you will know that I have a black version installed right here, which uh, is the same exact as the uh, white version over here. The only difference is, of course, the color. And when you go into uh, title, you don't have that the nice little color coded because um, it's a black theme. But I still like the black theme. I wish Google would have done some way to where you can install a black theme or you can install the white theme if you wanted to because uh, for black it does help uh, AMOLED displays like this Nexus S. I'll keep it short to install this though. You do need to be rooted and uh, stay tuned because I will be having a video. If I see that there's enough demand for the video to be up um, before Monday, I will put it up. Uh, if not, then it will just be as regularly scheduled for Monday. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, and as I said, this you need to be rooted to install the black version, and uh, whoops, you need to be rooted, and for the white version, you do not. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you in the next video. If it helped, don't forget to give a like, subscribe down there, and stay tuned for my giveaway. I'll catch you in the next video.